independent rappers and music producers it's your local diy your curtis king here and boy oh boy there's been something that has been heavy heavy on my mind and a topic that i want to talk about today why is it that in hip-hop when somebody calls you a local rapper or a local music producer it's seen as an insult everybody know them you're just local now, granted, some people do use it as a demeaning term, and depending on where you're from, that could carry a different weight. The ironic thing is that you could literally walk out of your house right now, go to the nearest city, and look on windows and see people who have pride in being local. Local small businesses, locally serving lasagna in this Italian restaurant, this family restaurant for the last... 50 years, locally grown weed, locally grown food by farmers that you know. Yet when it comes to music, that's seen as an insult. And even weirder than that, when somebody calls you an independent rapper, an independent music producer, and they talk about success, why is it that the only definition of success they have for you are the elites, the strange music, the rhyme sayers, and the folks who occupy this space? They don't understand that these are companies, entities that are sitting on acres. I've been to Strange Land. I've seen it firsthand. These are acres. These are buildings that are employing the local community. And then on top of that, society at large doesn't even look at those elite independents as being on the same level as the major labels and the folks getting millions and gajillions of streams and folks that are being played on radio. So then my question is, what does that leave the independent rapper or music producer who has not achieved the level of success of a strange music and has not achieved the level of success as the music industry? Where does that leave you? No wonder it's so hard for independent artists and music producers, local music producers and artists to find pride in what they're doing when they're seen as the bottom of the totem pole. But what I'm here to share with you today is that you are not at the bottom of any totem pole. Even though there are stages of growth we must all go through, what you must understand is that the era that we are living in allows us to have leverage that we've never had before, access to human beings that we've never had before. So the necessity to get placements, the necessity to get signed, the necessity to get a machine behind you is no longer the same necessity it once was. There exists now for us as artists and music producers the same opportunity that exists for that person who just started a local catering business. But so many of us don't embrace that pride. Matter of fact, some of us are even embarrassed to tell our friends and families what we do for a living. Hey, what do you do? I'm a rapper. A rapper? <laughs> who you worked with is a common question I guess asked. Oh, I haven't really worked with anybody. Well, I work with some folks locally. <laughs> so you probably broke, huh? is the assumption that most of them have. And it pains me to hear this echoed in different scenes that I get into whenever I visit different states and I look around at their community and I'm like, it doesn't matter that you're not in a major city. I look at what you have and I'm like, do you see the tradition? Do you see the abundance around you? And it's hard for them to see it because they're jaded by where they've been their entire lives. This is why it's important for me to make videos like this, to remind you, sky is the limit where you're at. You can do so much more with who you already have access to. It's time for us to change the narrative around what it means to be a local rapper or a local producer. It's time for us to switch that from being a demeaning term to an empowering term. A phrase that says, I am in your community and I am doing something productive. Especially if you're independent like most of us in this community. You are making your own beats, creating your own songs, you're mixing your own songs, video editing, you're creating captions. Do you realize that every single one of those skills alone are transferable to careers that pay a lot of money? Yet, folks look down upon the independent artist that has to do it all. Quote unquote, has to. I like to say gets to, but that's just me. And I think another major factor that makes us demean ourselves and others when we use the word local is the fact that when we do something locally great, it's not celebrated the same way. And oftentimes our celebrations are very quiet, but I'm here to tell you that that's all right. It's your job to clock in. I'm here to tell you that you don't need the traditional music industry to be a success story. You don't need somebody to tell you you're a success story to be a success story. You don't need any cosigns from anybody except for yourself. We need to also redefine what it means to get a placement. Why do we spend so much energy and so much time pursuing people who are barely within our reach, barely give us their focus, won't even text us back? 
for some communication on the business of our records. But we show so little love to the people who are within our access. We go to studio sessions in the traditional music industry and they call us a beat maker. We let them demean us with more terms as beat maker, local beat maker. When at the same time in that room, your opinion is not valued because you're just the beat maker. You're not given an opportunity to produce because, well, that means the splits have to work a little bit differently then. Yet on the flip side, you have the freedom right now to work with whoever the hell you want to work with how you want to work with them and make the best music that you two see as the best i'm putting my foot down i don't want to work with any major labels or any major label artists anymore matter of fact i don't even want to work with people who aspire to be in that position i don't want to be responsible for grooming artists and grooming producers to go get screwed in an industry they don't have to be in i feel like it's my purpose to spread messages like this that hopefully empower you and show you what you have right where you're at. And it's crazy because there's so many people out here who will look at you crazy for talking the way that I talk. People who can't wait to look for the lie in what I'm saying. You say that now, bro, but what if, what, what if Dre called you? What, what if Jay-Z called you? You can throw your man panties at them all you want. I love my independence and this is what I'm sticking with. I love the freedom that I have. I am making more income than I ever made in that industry. I am connecting with more creatives, more different type of creatives. I'm learning more about my creativity, working with folks who believe in their art and not because of how it stacks up against what's popular or what's on the radio, what's the, it doesn't matter. We just want to create the best art with all the tools that we have. It's not the anti that industry. It is the pro belief in ourselves, pro in our industry. The tide's changing. And I'm so grateful to be a voice of this new independence. An independence that says right where you're at, if you're in a studio bedroom, right where you're at, if you're operating out of a small office space, right where you're at, you have enough. You are enough and you're going to build something that is bigger than you could have ever imagined right from where you're at. And you're not even going to step a foot out your city. It is very much possible. And if I can show you any of the tools along the way, I will show you every single one of them that I can, because I believe in your independence. I believe in my independence and I believe that the best is yet to come. DIYers, have a good one. Peace.